savior of Tucson. Interesting. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. The light is inopportune at the moment. Could you return around noon? Let us go! Uh, we should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. We'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle dove o'er the heath. Hanks in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best uh, thing for uh, laying down tempera. Uh, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said, and fantastically expensive. Hang on, got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that, he merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachoua. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. Come on now. We'll continue on foot.
Truly, I can only speak through my paintings. Truly, I can only... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word, would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything, set it out, ordered and organized. Hmm, might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art, and not vice versa. Right you are, Fingal. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. He actually had an age enlarged after he saw that the Reb Garage play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Footprints. Smudged. Footprints. Clear, but curiously small. Footprints. Smudged. Got paint drops here, too. Footprints. Smudged. here too. a bit like a necker big blobs what a troll neckers depicting their victory over some trolls that even possible necker propaganda Look ruined. Painter should stay. 
still be able to use them. Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And... Hmm... Is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a... battle scene to me. <laughs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm, better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view! Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That Intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Uh, this gonna take much longer. 
Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! Run and hide! Dearest Mummy! Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? It did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm, interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Ah, for posterity.
Let's go. Oh, that's bad luck. Ooh. Ooh. Am I invisible? Wait. Was that truly necessary? Did our knights chop liver? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. I can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento, though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. Few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. 